What's up my friends? Welcome back to our blind let's play of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Here we are with Geralt and we are in the middle of the freaking wilderness here. Just taking in the fucking wind, the sights, the festivities and what's going on. We need to go ahead over to this Odolin fellow and return for a reward. We had literally just whooped up on the wraith at the well. The devil by the well, whatever it is. Let's look at the map here and find a path. Because we have a few things that we need to deal with. It's probably not obviously necessary, but since we are in the area, we might as well. And it was interesting because I didn't really catch on to it, but the places of power here... See, I thought we leveled up, but we didn't. The places of power here give us an ability point. Draw from a place of power to gain temporary bonus. The first time you draw from any place of power, you receive one ability point. Now, I wonder if it's just one in the whole game like that's it we don't ever get an ability point again or if it's the first time we actually discover that specific place of power and draw from it we get an ability point that would be pretty freaking awesome anyways let's just go ahead over here and whoop some fucking ass because i'm sure we're gonna find more bandits here or something probably more bandits more mercenaries whatever they are deserters Place of power should draw from it. Ooh, we have a bear on board here. It's level six, and we're level one. I don't know if we should do this. Well, we're not strong away from battle now. Come on in, bear. Axie mother effer. Let's see if we can burn him. He's got fur and stuff. It might actually. Furnace. Oh, look at him burning his fucking an ass hair off. Oh, she's a monster. Man, the fire is doing some serious damage to old fucking Yogi here. We still got our... Actually, we don't have Quen up. Let's get Quen back up. We have no Tawny Owls left. Come on in, sucker. Me and you, baby. Mono e mono. You ain't got nothing, bear. I don't think so. Oh, not my shield off. Gotta be careful. That kind of hurt a little bit. Let's take some water. No way. When? Man, Carol, you are smooth, friend. Oh, not that time. Holy. <laughs> Don't think so, bear. Oh, hello. This bear is a freaking monster. Goodbye, Yogi. So we got raw meat, bear hide, and bear fat. Thank you. Medallion's humming. Place of Man. power. It's gotta be. Poor bear was just over here eating everything up. Chilling. Gerald had to go ahead and whoop his ass. Hunting boots. And then we have another place of power, which is Erden. Another ability point. So it's every time we find and discover a new place of power. Awesome. My questions were answered literally right here. All right. Well, let's go to the inventory then and level up again, shall we? I want to keep up with this Axie thing. I want to get it to level three to where we can probably just turn the tide in every single conversation. I can't imagine that, well, unless there is like maybe locked i guess with you see how it says one of three maybe eventually when we get to like let's say i don't know level 10 or something it goes more like three of six or something like that i wonder but for now let's go ahead and keep working on this because indeed i do love to be able to influence people's minds that seems to be really great in this game compared to what it was before and plus you get xp for it so we're maximizing the experience i think 
Axie with humans, though. Pretty powerful. I could imagine that art is probably very freaking powerful as well. What we have over here? I wonder if we can hear him. Well, we can obviously hear him, but I wonder if I can... It honestly looks like ghouls. Though, hold on here, friends. Hold your horses. Don't be pushing. Let's go to bestiary here. Necrophages. So drowners and ghouls are necrophages. Well, while we're in here looking at ghouls, we might as well just read it. Ghouls creep and crawl at the night, eating everything in sight. In a snap, they'd eat you too. Chop you up in ghoulish stew. Oh my goodness, that's a children rhyme? That's going to be stuck in my head forever. I'll try not to sing that in real life here, because that could be bad. <laughs> Ghouls and graveyards are hard to describe. In part, they resemble humans, yet on the whole, they are the utter negation of all that is human. Though they have arms and legs like men, they walk on four legs like dogs or badgers, though they have eerily familiar faces, one searches them in vain for any sign of sentiment, reason, or even a spark of consciousness. They are driven by one thing and one thing only, an insatiable craving for human flesh. Yummy! And Drowners is another necrophage. Awesome. Well, let's go ahead and... Which one was it? Not this one. Oh, we got some booze. Wait, where'd I go? Put the mutton legs back up there. Oh, we got dried fruit, though. That's more than a mutton legs. Can we use this? Oh, we can't use it right here in the bag. That's fine. We want to do... Oh, we got bombs, too. Let's put them on board. White honey clears toxicity and cancels all active potion effects. All right, I didn't read it, but I kind of figured that's what it was because that's what it did in the first game. It seems to clear our toxicity and drunkenness stuff. Well, not our drunkenness, but it cleared our toxicity at least. All right, necrophage oil. Oh, let's go ahead and whoop some fucking monsters up. I wonder how long it stays on for, the oil itself. I don't see any um, thingies at the top of the screen on how many it stays for, but hold on here. Let, let me just look one more time just to make sure. Twenty. Oh, it says 20 charges. I'm not sure what charges is. Maybe 20 hits. That could be charges, I think. Oh, look at them. They are hurtling up, friends. Let's get let's get the trap on board since we got a place of power on it. Show me what you got. Come here, you little scumbags. Oh, take it easy. I don't think so. Get in here on this trap. I would love 20 Al, but... Let's get... Swallow. Let's get the trap back up. Seems to be working. I think. Oh, so are they... Are they regenerating health? That we're hearing here? Hang in there, girl. Get Erden back up. Oh, hang in there, girl. Goodness. I'm trying to do the heavy attack, but it is not working the way I like. Let's get fired. I don't think so, friend. Don't you run for me. Chop you up in ghoulish stew. Goodbye. So we can... I can kind of feel when they're going to hit us there. See you later, ghoulies. <laughs> An area... Liberated, its populace has returned. So we just cleared out an area. And it looks like we even got a merchant over here now. Oh, that was fucking great. 
This lady talking about plums wreaking havoc on her booty. Hmm. You got anything? Ours is a decent village. Oh, it's a decent oh, excuse me, ma'am. Welcome to our shit hole. <laughs> what? We have an herbalist here, friends. Got anything interesting? I'm go- Oh, lady moly. So he's got water hag decoction. I'm guessing we probably should go ahead and buy these. But maybe we shouldn't right now. I, I don't know if, like... Well, I do seem to know, because we do seem to be finding these decoctions in just random chests and stuff. Ocean ingredients and decoctions. So we got Dwarven Spirit, White Gall, Grave Hag. Each post lane accelerates vitality regeneration for the duration of the battle. Oh, that sounds pretty strong. So I see how these decoctions are working here. They definitely give you different traits than normal just regular potions so they seem to be really strong we need to definitely invest in somehow getting these decoctions on board here and there's the wraith one whenever a single hit drains more than a third of vitality a quench shield is activated which protects against the magical attacks so it's only 80 let's go ahead and buy the wraith then maybe we should i don't know maybe i'm thinking that we probably See, i don't know if this guy will leave if we don't get this stuff here. I don't know if we can get it elsewhere. So let's get white gall while we're here. We can't even get all this stuff. Oh. What can we sell? It's probably not worth selling stuff. Well, this only sells for one. Well, we can get one more. Let's see. Water Hag. Damage dealt is increased when vitality is at its maximum. Oh, that does sound good. Each post lane accelerates by dollar identification. That's, see, that's a good one right there. The Grave Hag decoction? Well, we can't get it. Well, these ones are smaller. Let's go with the Water Hag one. So now we are broke, but he has a couple more. Torn out Wraith decoction, White Goal, and the Water Hag. <laughs> Farewell. See, we are probably broke as a fucking shit peddler now. Alright, so what is it? Nighttime? Goodness, how do you get nighttime? Alright, well, hopefully this guy stays here. That would be very much appreciated. Though I wonder if we should meditate, maybe? What else do we got on the map here? So that herbalist probably will stay there. That would be very nice. Let's go over here to this one. Then go to the next one. Then we'll head to Odolin. That was actually kind of quick. Though... What's this? Anything good here? We have a rock. What if we can climb it? Come on, girl. We have a rock here. So majestic. Let's, I don't know, let's go ahead and meditate, I guess. Meditate for the morn-ish. Hopefully nothing mauls us in the middle of the fucking woods. We could use some more potions on board anyway. Oh, it's raining. All right, well, nothing is here, interesting enough. Drowners. Oh, goodness. Let's see, fire seemed to work pretty good on the Drowners, not to mention they got these thingy majiggies here. Come on in, Drowners. See ya! I don't think so, Drowner. <laughs> it's a timing game, I love it. Get out of here. Oh, Lee. Burn. Sucker. Man, that burn effect is actually great if it works. Goodbye. 
Oh. No, no, meditate. Let's see. But the Herbalist is still on the map here, so it looks like he is going to stay there. Well, I guess I shouldn't have hastily bought that stuff. It was probably not a good idea. But I guess I live and learn. We will see how it goes. I'm just scared that he might leave. So there's a turn out noon wraith decoction. Hold on here. Then we got Skelly, Gambleson, and Reliever decoction. See, we were just getting so many decoctions. We probably didn't even need to actually do that. Man, we should have saved the damn money. All good. We are learning here, friends. So let's do alchemy here. We did buy that Wraith decoction, so we probably could actually use it now. Wraith decoction here. It needs Nostrix and a Wraith mutagen, I thought we had. Oh, it was a Noon Wraith. Yeah, here it is. We need Janet Tia Petals. Oh, we probably could have bought that from him over there and made this. What does it do? Significantly limits the duration of knockdown, hypnosis, stun, and blindness. Well, we don't, I don't feel like we're... I feel like we're actually getting blind or knocked down or stunned. The bear knocked us down, but... All right, well, we probably don't need to make that right now. Let's go to this other side. More drowners, baby. Man, this exploring is actually very fun. I indeed like this whole uh, question marks gig. It is helping us out here because this whole full alchemy build that we plan on making, we probably wouldn't get as strong without doing all this fucking exploring here. Oh, no, you didn't. Ugly bastard. Let's go ahead and take a Tony Owl. Look at that damage, though. Not to mention, they're dancing. Fire damage, sucker. Carol, you're majestic, man. These little, uh... Oh, there's another one on board. Goodness. Take some dried nuts, baby. I think so. I think watching Geralt do his little shimmy is just majestic, friends. I think so. Another drowner done. Let's go ahead and get... Where is my art at? See ya! The... Literally the... Strong attack is so hard to use. There you go. Goodbye. It's so cool looking though. It is very indeed hard to line up the uh, strong attack. So was that it? Just some drowners over here? Alright, one thing I do want to look at though is these bombs here. How do I... Oh, the bomb was the uh, middle mouse button, right? Alright, well there was a... Question mark somewhere's over here, right here. We'll do this one and then that will be it for today and we'll head over to here because that was a good deal of exploring these, um, Elibor? These little question marks on the map. Oh, we got some, looks like bandits. I'm gonna fuck them up. Come on. Pathetic. Some of me. You're lucky. You're lucky girl pulled a sword out because I wasn't going to. I was going to beat you up with my fists. Go ahead and get some Tony out on board. Goodbye. See ya. Body fucking exploded. All right, let's test Ard. See if Ard actually works now. Doesn't look like the Ard is... See ya. Doesn't stun him. All right, well, that's answering questions here. Come here, Yorvith. I hear you. Goodbye, body is over there. Somewhere is probably fucking flew up inside the tree. Goodness. Man. <laughs> oh, 
why even do anything else? Just stun him and one shot him. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Go ahead and drink some water, girl. You're fucking famished. <laughs> Did you see that? It's hard not to see that. I think every single time I see that, I'm gonna fucking freak out like it's the first time. It's so bad. <laughs> Lots of just stuff to like break down. That's interesting. It seems like almost every single person that you take out drops something. Small blackjack. All right. Well, that was was that it? We have crowns, scraps, emerald dust. Fiend decoction. See, this is literally rewarding us like a decoction every time we do it. Though the thing is, what I do wonder, because I have played other games before where things are kind of set in stone, you know what I mean? So maybe them decoctions right there are only available through merchants. I would wonder, and it would kind of make a little bit of sense, huh? Let's go ahead. How do we fast travel? Oh, so we got to go to a fast travel point. That's fine. Let's get on Roach here. How do I get Roach out? Come here, Roach. Come here, Roachy. Oh, what's that bag you got on yourself, Rare Roach? Is that new? Interesting. Oh, I figured... I can feel it. I can feel it steering by itself now. You just hold in the shift. Whoa, where are you going, Roach? Get it out. Look at the beautiful sunrise, friends. Absolutely breathtaking. I love it. Not so, so fast, Roach. Hold on here. You guys said this Dune fellow would be working the fields. Oh, there's the saw. Look at him. And then here's Dune. What's up, Dune? The little things, friends. Let's go inside the house. So the Nilf Guardians were always here before. Who is this? There's Bastion. Look at him. What's up, Bastion? And then... Well, let's look inside the house, huh? Excuse me, the housemaid? Are you here? Oh, he's not even here. He's probably somewhere. Where the hell did he... Where, where would he be, I wonder? Maybe he's in the back of the house? Interesting. I don't know. Just the little details, though. Really cool. The other one, the Nilf Guardian's probably somewhere. Just don't know exactly where the hell he is. Ooh. All right, Bastion. Have a good one. Come on, Roach. We need to get to uh, turning stuff in, friend. What's it me? So I wonder... Come on, Rochi. Just tough, my friends. Goodness. What's up, Roach? How are you? Alright, let's get to this Odolin fellow because I want to at least try to make it to a uh, Yen situation here. Slow now. Whoa. Hold on. Let me see something here before we actually head out. I want to see if this lady has anything new. Excuse me, ma'am. Something else you'll be needing. Maybe I can sell some of this booze off to her, actually. Got anything interesting under the counter? Depends what you're after. Have a look. The whole um, going to specific merchants. It seems that with the blacksmith, they go ahead and buy weapons. Obviously, armor smiths buy armor more than just regular people. And then obviously people like the innkeeper here will buy alcohol. Look at this, 17 a pop. It's all you, woman. Let's just go ahead and sell the alcohol right now. I don't know if we need it like the Witcher 1, how we get into conversations with alcohol. Probably not, what is this? Another Gwent card here? What with a card on the battlefield to return it to your hand? You already have this item, but we can get more. All right, well, let's go ahead and buy that. Thank you, ma'am. Farewell. Don't ruffle my feathers now. 
Odolin it is, friends. Let's go in and head over to him. Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, names ring a bell? I don't know him. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, there's hope for it, at least. What a nice man. Thanks, keep your coin for your daughter. Oh, lordy, you guys know I have a heart of fucking gold, obviously. We could definitely use the money here, for sure. But I just feel terrible taking this man's money if he hid that away for his daughter. What a good man, though. He was the only one that put coin up for that. The, uh... The devil by the well. No one else in the village even attempted to put coin up. Usually, from what I know, is that most people end up banding together, making a bounty for the uh, monster. So more people pitch in, but this man did it on his own. Let's just go ahead and let him keep the coin, then. At this point, doubt I'll ever marry. You keep the coin from Mandy, her wedding. Raise a toast to my health, then. Thank you, Master Witcher. Them's warm words. You've a good heart. But I can't let you go empty-handed. Take this, at least. Good luck. Well, we got some experience, and then we have an... Amethyst? Amethyst? Whatever the hell it's called. Devil by the Well was done! What an awesome quest, friends. Probably one of the best quests in, uh... Witcher. As a whole, almost. That quest was so freaking captivating. With the way Geralt was talking, the little things that we found Ooh. out, that was really just great. Well, hopefully the girl recovers. That would be awesome. All right, well, let's head towards Lilac and Gooseberries, then. Ask the Nilf Guardians about Yennefer. Come on, then, friends. Let's move out. What is this kid saying? Goodness, you little creeper. <laughs> the trek to the Nilf Guardian camp. What Get out this? the way. I'll whoop you up, Nilf Guardian. You want some of me too? Look at this guy. Case in a ha. Oh, we got some dogs or wolves or something. Case in a ha. <laughs> Nilf Guardian's speech is really awesome. I like it. I'm getting it. I'm learning, friends. Because Nilf Guardians do... Oh, there's an explanation down here. Nilf Guardians do Elder Speech too, don't they? Is it Nilf Guardian Speech? Elder Speech too? Kinda? Ish? Something moved. Hey! Anyone home? Something moved. We got an old woman on board here. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff in the water. Look at all that. Oh, there's a chest down there too. And then a bunch of fucking plants, it looks like. Well, we'll get to that some other time. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hurt. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived. Walked right in like to his own. Was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must have eaten me. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. But I sees he ain't listening. Just... Staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. He's right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. So someone came in and stole a frying pan here? 
This lady is one of them ladies that talk to you and they get right directly in your face. <laughs> That's actually creeping Geralt out, it looks. Truly fascinating tale, interesting than what happened. <laughs> Truly fascinating tale, indeed. Fascinating story. Any chance you're nearing the end? A far dawn. Another rode up to the hut. But come on, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. T'were old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm afeard to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. The one fellow came in, killed the other fellow, and maybe bashed him over the head with a frying pan or something. Look, you can move the. Oh, well, you can't hear. But it looked like it caught me off guard. But if you go ahead and move the mouse, you can move the uh, thing, the screen in the cutscenes. That's pretty cool. Though I don't know if you could just go ahead and turn around and whoop and then run away from the conversation like this lady. Excuse me, ma'am. I am not doing this. No way. See ya. All right, well, we're definitely going to help her find her priceless frying pan. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. You should wait here, just in case. Let's go ahead and track that. Break into the locked hut. Well, I'm going to use art here. Don't get freaked out now. Maybe. <laughs> that is wreck her with it. <laughs> See you, ma'am. Dark steel plate and 24 orins. We can always use the money. Rotting flesh. Ooh, delicious. What the fuck do we need that for? Velus rune and oil. There's a lot of runes that in this game. Explains the stench. Phosphorus. We have Velen's longsword and Dragon's Dream. So much stuff just going around, friends. This game really does want you to explore, and that is a great thing. What is this? Cracked monocle. Interesting. What's that, dearie? Nothing. Nothing. Cracked monocle? Monocles are the, uh... What the hell is a monocle? Isn't that the thing for your eye? The thing that... Fucking Taller was wearing in the first uh, Witcher game. They're monocles, aren't they? His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going barmy. Well, you're definitely not going barmy. Some shady shit's going on here, lady. Don't know where your price is. Oh, there's a fucking frying pan. <laughs> Documents. Almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Found the pan, have you? And when you arrange to meet, you fucking show up. I did risking my life and the entire blasted operation and ended up standing there with a plowing cock in my hands, waiting for nothing. I thought the Nilfgaardian army was better organized than that, but you, illegible, tell that blessed lord general of yours that me and my companions don't hold grudges, so... We won't break off negotiations, but since our old pals go on tits up, this time we'll choose the time and place for the next meeting. Interesting. So there's a monocle in here, and then this person, whoever it is, is talking about plowing. So this may very well be Taller. How interesting and cool would that be? Though it might not be Taller, because it could be anything, you know? I'm sure he's not the only one that says plow in uh, Tamaria. But the monocle, though. Let me look at that monocle. What's a quest item here? Item needed to complete a quest. Silver monocle. Just other. Interesting. Well, let me hope and believe it is a little throwback to Taller. That would be fucking just awesome. Ah, uh, the priceless frying pan. Hmm. Scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. 
Makes sense, though. So, wait a minute. So this guy here came here to meet with this person. And this person was obviously a... Temerian soldier or a... Something to do with Temeria because they were talking about how he thought the Nilfgaardian army would be more organized than this. So maybe it's some kind of plotting. Maybe they're sending important messages here. Because this is a Nilfgaardian area now, it seems. So that would definitely make sense. But this guy's death is interesting. Wonder where that came from. Let me look at the journal, though. Many think that the life of a witcher consists of nothing but adventure after a grand adventure, an endless stream of contracts on manacores, brooksay, and other exotic beasts. In truth, Geralt would often take on the more banal tasks, ones lesser bards fear mentioning, for they lack the skill required to make a masterwork of the mundane. By way of example, once in White Orchard, he was hired to retrieve a woman's frying pan. A mysterious gentleman had borrowed the frying pan from the little old lady and not returned it while investigating the damned unneighborly act, Geralt... <laughs> Goodness. Geralt discovered that the Lungwood borrower had other more serious sins on his conscience. Murder, for example, the half-burned nose Geralt found in his abandoned hut made it clear he was interested in movements of Nilfgaardian forces and confidential military secrets. In other words, the man was a spy. So it was probably definitely fucking Taller. Interesting. Because we know Taller was a spy. Oh, that is great because I honestly hope it was and I hope that he is actually okay. Here, your frying pan. Mine? The mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents, too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilfgaardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, sonny. For the road. Thank you, old woman. Fry up a nice white fish for supper. Or a pint. <laughs> oh, the involvement of these people. Such a little quest, but that was so interesting. Baked apple. Oh, for the road, she says. And bread. Baked apples and bread for the road, friends. <laughs> All right, old lady. That was really cool. I liked it. And if it was a throwback to Tyler, even fucking better. We have a bunch of stuff up here. What's going on? There's things to loot back here. Rabbit pelts. Ooh. We got a bunch of enemies on board here. Can they actually fight us? Oh, there's a chest. A warg. Not good. Oh, just holding down the block button won't even let them hit us. Oh, that is so freaking on point. All right, well, let's do... Let's see, the bear didn't like fire, so let's do fire on these wolves. Damn, that fucking wrecked them. Come on, wolves. Goodness. That kind of hurt. Take it easy. Alright, one wolf's down. Two wolves down. Three wolves down. Hang in there, Geralt. The big warg is... Take it easy back there, peasants. You're gonna get whooped up by these wolves. I don't think so. Flebius, is he calling more in? Oh, he did call more in. Shit. There was a chest back here, so worth it, definitely. Orins, 
Powdered Pearl, Sapphire, Harpy, and torn out Doppler Decoction. A Doppler Decoction? Well. So I'm guessing we're seeing a Doppler, maybe even whooping one up. Goodness. Take it easy, friend. Another wolfie bites the dust. Alright, maybe we can get over the Yennefer situation here. Fighting all the wolves in White Orchard here. Bring it on, sucker. Square up on me. Alright, we're running out of food here, I think, a little bit. The wolves were going around just killing the wildlife. That is freaking crazy. <laughs> I guess it beats me uh, slaughtering innocent fucking deer and rabbits. Let's actually probably get on Roach here. Well, we actually have something up here. We'll do this one, this one, and then that one, and that one, and then we'll head to the Nilf Guardian camp because, you know, sadly, I don't think we're going to be able to actually get there as much as I would love to, but it's okay because I don't want to break it up. I want to take in all of its festivities at once. Let's get Quen on board because it looks like there's going to be more wolves over here. Place of power. Should draw from it. Oh yeah, let's draw from it, Geralt. One ability point gained, friends. How do I? Let's see here. Go back to character. We can literally max this out right here, right now. Let's just max it out. Why not? Wait. Upgrade. Now, target does not move towards Geralt while he is casting Axie. Increases the effectiveness of Axie in dialogues. Reduces Axie casting time and stamina regeneration. So I wonder if that stamina regeneration after I actually use an Axie. You know what I mean? Because I kind of just... I kind of don't really understand that 1.5 seconds of stamina regeneration there. Alright, well, let's get on out of here. That was pretty cool. How was that? Oh, hell no. There's a Wraithy. Hold on here. Before he come in here whooping me. Let's get Spectre Oil on. Level 6? Goodness. We're still fucking level 1 here, friends. I learned my lesson in other games. Race are very freaking hard. They're probably hard in this game, too. Where are you running to? You wimp. Goodness, they're cool. Let's see if we can axe him. Oh, yes. I don't think so, Wraithy. Hit him with another Axie. Come on in, Wraith, with your little lantern. They are an awesome enemy. Oh my goodness. The teleporting is just fucking badass. See ya. Ain't got shit on Geralt, Wraithy. Emerald Dust, Infused Dust, Wraith Mutagen, finally, and Essence of Water. Alright, so we drawed from... That was Axe. Interesting. Drink some more water. Here, what you're fucking famished. We have... Let's leave this... For another time. But let's head towards this one. And we are moving, friends. We are getting all of these question marks pretty much off the map. Every single one has yielded something for our character. Whether it be a decoction, some kind of schematic, or just... Excuse me. Oh. Let me take a swallow, because... And these wolves are so numerous. Oh, Lee. Let me get my sign up, wolvies. Come on, North Guardian, get them. They're pissed at you. 
motherfucker fell off his horse. Get him, Nilf. Whoop him. So yeah. You get him. He's pissed at you, Nilf Guardian. Oh, he ran. Works for me. I'd rather not fight every swinging fucking... Every mother effing wolf in the area? They're pretty uh, hard. Alright, so there is something over here now. Oh, there's a drowner just chilling out there. Look at him. I'm gonna hit his ass with a bomb. Take that, drowner! Booyah! Frag out, motherfucker! Yeah, done and done. Just the way I like it. Oh, Tamarian Lily Key. There's another drowner over there. Let's whoop its ass. Come here, drowner. Okay, Axie. Axie is becoming one of my favorite abilities now. But I like Ard. Come on, Ard. I feel like I have been pushing you to the side too much, Ard. Come on, you fucking pleb. Good folk, murder. <laughs> <laughs> Cut some right in half. All right, well, there's something like in the area over here. Is it in the water? Here we go. We have Blood Soak Military Orders, Florins, Tamarian Amber Necklace, and Tamarian Special Forces Insignia. Really? Let's go ahead and read this. To whom it may concern, by order of the Legion Commander, the men bearing this missive are to be escorted north to the border post near Oxenfurt, where they will find a Verdanian division waiting for them. As noble-born Tamarians, they are under special protection, and not a hair on their heads is to be harmed. Everything they carry is their own private property and is to remain in their possession. Any failure to heed this order will be punished in an accelerated military tribunal, Randall Wittenberg. Awesome, so Tamperian valuables. We're gonna steal the special forces stuff? Oh goodness. Sorry, Roach. Sorry, Roachy. Alright, let's get on to this one. And then we will save in this general area. Alright, come on, Roach. We need to get out of here, friend. The exploring is just so... In what are you doing, man? Why are the guards going to attack me? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> he was about to take off some peasants' heads. Goodness. Wasn't me. Oh, we got wolves on board. But it looks like one of the things that can blow up here. Come here, wolves. Take them all down. See ya! Oh, there's another one over here. What the hell was that? Come on, Wolfie. Look at Roach over there. <laughs> One of these days, we had to line an enemy up to get whooped up by Roach. We have Wolf Hide here, Liver, and some more Dog's Tallow. Interesting enough. Ruby Dust and Diamond Dust. So most of this stuff is probably crafting material here. All right, nothing too good there, but it's probably just... Valuables. What is this green stuff? Oh, there's a beehive here. Hold on, let's see if we can axe it. We can't axe it. It definitely hurts Geralt. Let's try art. See ya. Oh, they're everywhere now. Art makes it even worse. A swarm. Of bees has attacked you. You can use Ard 
to drive them all for a while or actually to kill them with a blast of fire. Bees will attack anyone who get near the hive. Oh, so we can just... Where'd the uh, beehive thingy go? So art them, knock it down, and then art again, and then it would drive the bees off, and then we can just go ahead and burn the hive. Awesome. What the hell was that green stuff? That shit blew up. Like toxic fumes here? Let's try it. Holy. Hang in there. All right, so the Quen sign does take away the damage over time effects, just like the first game or the second game. Same with first dust, armor. All right, just more interesting stuff. So there was like something out in the water here, but I do want to indeed get this before we head out. Hold on. What was that back there? Oh, that's Roach. All right, let's head over to this thing then. Hopefully we don't get fucking mauled by a god darn shark. Fucking river monster or something. So it looks like it is a sunken ship. Or something. Maribor and Florence. Was that actually it? Alright. It looked like it took it off the map. Well, let's not loot anything else. Let's go ahead and get closer to the Nilfgaardian camp here. Awesome, friends. We have got a lot of them question marks off the map. That was so much fun, too. Let's see. Let's look at the map. Let's take in the sights of what we actually accomplished here. We cleared all of this stuff over here. We got a alchemist on board or herbalist. We have... So, let's go into here. Let's make a path here for next episode. We're going to go right into the Nilfgaardian camp, right? And then... Maybe we can skirt around this back, because it looks like a road here. Take this out, this out, this out, and then... See, I don't want to just run over here and get these question marks, because... Well, there is quests over here. We will get to this stuff later. But I want to do this, and maybe... If it continues into another quest, because I do want to get some main questing here done. Because there probably will be a point of no return in this area. And then before that, we will get all this other stuff done, but it's not really that many left. Alright, well. That's uh, definitely something. It's interesting how quick it's going. It's interesting how fucking I hit the record button and it's already time to end the god darn episode. <laughs> Crazy. Anyways, I'm out of here, friends. Take it easy. Have a good one. Stay safe out there, and I will see you next time. Take care.